Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to give an answer for a question which is haunting everyone these days in the market. That is, is manual testing dead? What's the answer? Let me explain. So everyone is asking this question, is manual testing dead? Is manual testing dead? Okay, everyone is worried about this particular thing. Is manual testing dead? What's the answer? Manual testing is not dead, guys. Okay. Okay. Manual testing is not dead. But, but the jobs, jobs for only manual testing. Okay. Jobs related to only manual testing are dead. Manual testing are dead. What does it mean? You see, when you get selected into a company as a software tester, you still have to perform manual testing. Hence, manual testing is not dead. But when you apply for some new jobs, okay, if you want to uh, switch from one company to another company, or if you want to get a job in one company as a software tester, right, you will not find some manual testing only jobs. Okay, those jobs are dead. That's the reality, guys. Okay, that's the reality. Manual testing is not dead. Still, we have to perform manual testing in our day-to-day -day job as part of software testing jobs. Along with automation, we also have to perform manual testing of the application. You cannot escape that. But when you apply for the jobs, and with an intention that I don't know automation testing, I don't know any other thing. I only know manual testing. I want a manual testing job. If you try to apply, you will not find. Okay, that's why the jobs, manual testing jobs are dead. Okay, manual testing is not dead. Manual testing is not dead. Instead, manual testing, manual testing only jobs are dead. Okay. Instead, manual testing only jobs are dead, guys. This is what is the reality. Okay. Understand this. So, manual testing is not dead. Instead, manual testing only jobs are dead. Coming to the job or career. Okay. I told you just now, right? Manual testing jobs are dead. Okay, manual testing only jobs are dead, but manual testing is only manual testing jobs no more exists are very rare to find. Okay, it's very rare to find such kind of jobs nowadays in the market, very rare you will find. But, uh, you know, almost everywhere you are not finding any manual testing jobs. Okay, only jobs. So industry expects you to have automation testing knowledge along with manual testing these days. Okay. If you only have manual testing knowledge and you are applying for manual testing jobs, okay, you are not going to get anything. Okay. Along with your manual testing skills, you should also have automation testing knowledge and then apply for the jobs. There is a possibility. But with just with only manual testing skills and you want to apply for manual testing jobs, gone are the days. Okay. Not only automation testing knowledge, guys, but uh, many other uh, skill sets are required here. That is, uh, you should have API testing knowledge, mobile testing knowledge. And API testing automation, mobile test automation, security testing, performance testing, and many more ways. Okay, I'm going to cover more here in the points to consider here section. But for now, at a high level, I'm saying that the kind of jobs that are there in the market nowadays, okay, very competitive world nowadays, guys. Okay, people are learning the things like anything. So just by having manual testing skills and applying for the jobs, gone are the days, guys. Okay, we have to be now ready with a lot of skill set to get the jobs in the software testing field. Not just automation testing knowledge, but also security, performance, API, mobile, every area we should be good at. And uh, I've also seen automation tool based job requirements to these days. Okay. So what's happening nowadays is, you know, uh, I have seen some, you know, uh, some uh, recruiters posting some job information like, you know, Tosca three years experience job role like that. Okay. So different automation testing tools have entered into the market guys different test automation tools have entered into the market not just selenium automation okay now tosca is there cypress is there playwright is there many test automation tools have entered into the market based on this job uh, this uh, tool knowledge also people are recruiting us just imagine okay just sticking to manual testing and applying for manual testing jobs as gone nowadays okay though we'll perform manual testing in our day-to-day -day job but but getting the job based on manual testing skills only is gone. Okay. You see, you may come across this kind of situation in real time, guys. You know, uh, they may hire you. Okay. There is, there is a company who will conduct a interview 
and in the interview they will recruit you for automation purpose okay they will say that we have an automation role available okay would you like to apply and then you will apply that you will go through the interview they will ask you all the questions about automation and finally once you get selected and you land on the job right okay you join the company then they will give you manual testing work only okay the industry is like that guys okay it's not a bad thing you know what they want to do is they want they don't want to recruit you only for manual testing they want to recruit you for automation testing skills and other skills also they may take your take you for automation testing role but they may give you manual testing work that's okay because they are worried you know uh, they are the, in the companies are worried you tomorrow if any automation work comes you will not be able to do it right so so nowadays every client uh, is expectation is like manual automation and everything should be there so if 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 there is a work for only manual testing and tomorrow if anything uh, requirement changes for the client and you know the client asks for the automation in the project and all then you will not be able to do it that's why they may recruit you for automation and they may put you to work on the manual testing only okay so work may be manual testing jobs wise no manu manual testing jobs anymore okay no manual testing jobs manual testing jobs are dead but manual testing work will be there this is a the proof they may recruit you for automation testing role but they may, they may ask you to perform manual testing as a day to day work okay so jobs are dead but work is there manual testing is still required but jobs are vanished manual testing is not going anywhere guys okay but there is a catch that is manual testing jobs are gone that's again i am insisting here in day to day job manual testing is still required to perform exploratory testing usability testing and find bugs in the software that the automation tool cannot find okay all those things are there okay so you will be able to do automation testing well if you know how to perform manual testing okay without manual testing how can you automate guys okay manual testing is a stepping stone to get into the automation testing level hence manual testing is not going to be dead it's a basic one okay but jobs are dead you see uh, how can an automation tool replace domain knowledge usability testing exploratory testing human touch are still required right no matter how many tools will come into the market it may be automation tools it may be ai tools but ultimately this kind of stuff no one can replace this okay hence manual testing is not going to be dead only manual testing only jobs are going to be dead okay but the requirement for testers who know only manual testing is decreasing day by day as part of software testing jobs so manual testing jobs are dead manual testing only jobs are dead but uh, otherwise manual testing will be still performed in the project where you will be assigned whether you uh, you got assigned to the project as uh, automation engineer or whatever it is but you still have to perform manual testing in your job but to get recruited in a company for a new role and all those stuff manual testing jobs are not there guys we have to have your other skill sets like you know in companies number of automation testers count is increasing and manual testers count i mean this is like job count guys okay whenever some company is recruiting the people right you know okay they are recruiting them as automation testing jobs okay whether they will do manual testing or automation testing doesn't matter after they get selected but the jobs wise automation testing roles they are saying but you know manual testing roles they are not specially recruiting okay and these days guys we have to even learn apart from selenium automation we have to learn cypress playwright tosca okay kind of tools along with building frameworks and all we have to know all this knowledge okay we should be able to build the frameworks from the scratch in all these particular tools and all and we have to keep learning coding okay we have to enhance our uh, coding skills and keep going to the next levels in the coding we should not stop our learning in coding guys coding is an ongoing thing that we should have okay so your tools will change a lot of things will change but the basic things like manual testing knowledge and coding skills knowledge are in uh, you know you cannot escape them okay though number of tools will come these are the base base things manual testing knowledge okay coding knowledge you have to keep enhancing your coding skills guys keep solving lot of challenges in the coding and keep going to the next levels okay then coming to the next one that is uh, ci cd knowledge is uh, nowadays uh, too much required guys gone are the days where this is an op optional thing ci cd like jenkins git github docker aws etc everything is required as for the job roles okay and uh, you need to leverage ai in, in your day to day tasks whether it is manual or automation guys you have to leverage use usage of the ai to get the things done faster way okay apart from having the manual testing knowledge automation testing knowledge we should also have to leverage using the different ai tools nowadays to get better results ai driven intelligent testing is nowadays 
required in the market, guys. Then start using the AI automation tools like test team, test trigger, and many more. Okay, whatever you come across, AI automation is also booming. So the base things are still there, guys. No matter how many automation tools will come, how many AI driven intelligent testing tools will come, but ultimately the core things are the coding part or manual testing knowledge. Everything is required. Manual testing only jobs are gone. That's the only thing that I'm talking about when I'm answering this is manual testing dead question. Okay. So shift lift testing is booming up, you know, testers are being involved uh, in the projects from the beginning of the projects. Gone are the days where testing will only come after development. But uh, now from the beginning of the projects, the testers are getting involved. And uh, just by involving software testers from the beginning, you cannot say that this is not my work. That is not my work. You should not be in that position, guys. Uh, you know, we have to get into everyone's shoes nowadays. Software testers have to get into everyone's shoes. You have to now involve in all phases and increase your levels of contribution at different levels. Compared to the earlier days, as software tester, you should not keep any boundaries, okay? When you are working in the projects from the beginning of the projects, okay? Don't put any boundaries, guys. Keep involving in whatever, okay? Everyone's role, you go there and do some work if required, okay? Even though it's not your duty, you have to do it, okay? Even though it's not your duty, you have to do it and work in that direction, guys, okay? That gone are the days where, you know, software testers will only do software testing, okay? Now we have to do everything. Then... We also have to learn DevOps and CI, CD, right? Uh, setting up environment. We should be able to set up our own environments, which not depend on other teams. Okay. We should reach a situation where we should be able to set up our own environments. Okay. With all the configurations and settings required. And coming to CI, CD, we, we should be in a position not depend on other team to change branches using Git and create pipelines, ever, etc. Other team used to be there. Now we have to get in everyone's shoes, guys. Every, every phase we should be there from the beginning of the project. Everyone's work, we should be able to understand and should, we should be part of the project simply, okay? Gone are the days where software testers will only perform software testing. Now are the days where, you know, your skills matter, okay? Manual testing only jobs are gone. So your skill set matters. You have to learn each and everything in all directions, okay? You have to explore in all directions, guys. That's that's where the future of the software testers lies, okay? And keep acquiring and increasing your skill set over a period of time is something the advice I would like to give for everyone. And the final, final thing from this session is, you know, the final thing I want to tell in this session is my personal, personal observation regarding the AI. Everyone is afraid of AI. Okay. This AI tools came into the market. Our jobs are gone. Kind of uh, things are going on. But uh, what is my personal observation here is AI can help you to some extent, guys. Okay. No matter AI will auto generate everything for you, but ultimately without human touch, human touch, it will fail guys. Okay. AI will fail. Okay. That I have seen. There was a situation where, uh, uh, you know, I was giving training to one of the batch on Selenium Python. We have to build a framework. Okay. I was using uh, chat GPT and all those kind of AI things, but to some extent, AI is suggesting, but it may suggest you right or wrong doesn't matter. Okay. Who need to judge? The one who is trying to get the result need to judge. That is me. Okay. I need to decide what I want. Right. But AI will try to give whatever it feels correct. Okay. But someone need to be there just for judging, okay? At some point of time, AI will fail, guys, okay? Human touch is really required. Some control will be there, you know? Without controlling the AI, can, things cannot be done, okay? AI will fasten up, okay? It will speed up the process, speed up the testing process and all those stuff. But ultimate, so here we are in a kind of situation where we need to learn AI and leverage AI. And also we should not be, you know, we should also be there in the picture. They are not going to replace us. That basically, what is happening is uh, we have to leverage the AI tools and get the things done faster with our knowledge, expertise, and you know, decision making skills and judgmental skills. We have to guide the AI to go in a better direction and give the results faster. That's what is the trend going on. Okay. AI is not um, going to completely replace the human beings. Okay. Though AI can do a lot of work, but at the same point of time, human touch is required to proceed further. Okay. I know when compared to the previous days, a uh, lot of work is being done in a very less amount of time with the help of uh, AI tools and all. But at some point of time will come when you are working with AI guys. Okay. AI cannot do everything for you. Human touch is still required to proceed further to get the final results. Okay. We need to still guide AI tools to get the correct results guys. That's the current situation and scenario. Without the knowledge of manual testing and automation testing, we cannot use AI tools for our benefit, okay? A lot of people are thinking that uh, anyhow AI tools have come, why I need to learn uh, manual testing concepts, why I have to learn automation testing using Selenium, Java, I can directly go with the AI tools, it is going to write everything for me. Like that people are thinking, right? 
everything will be auto generated but don't uh, don't have that kind of mindset guys you know you have to still keep learning the stuff okay you have to still keep learning the stuff the basic fundamentals are always basic fundamentals okay no one can replace them okay manual testing knowledge whether there is an ai in the market or whether the ai is not there in the market manual testing knowledge each and every concept of manual testing is still there but you can use leverage the ai tools to you know go in a faster way okay that's the only thing but uh, these items are not gone anywhere manual testing automation testing using the traditional tools is not gone anywhere okay you have to still learn them to go to this leveraging of ai tools okay without learning manual testing and automation testing without ai tools if you directly jump to ai tools you will have half baked knowledge okay just be aware of that that's my personal uh, observation guys no matter how many ai tools will come into the market no one can change the basics okay how can the people use ai tools without having the knowledge of manual testing and automation testing okay the pain points if you don't know what is the use of using the tools okay simple so finally to conclude guys is manual testing dead manual testing is not dead guys instead manual testing only jobs are dead okay and in this session i told you not only explained uh, what is the answer for this question but also i, I not only have given the answer for this question i guided you okay what skills you should acquire in the coming days okay the sky is a limit for the skills guys and your mindset i try to change and guide you as part of the career guidance i have given you in this session apart from this answer for this question answering this question hope you got uh, some you know uh, guidance from this session along with the answer for this particular question hope you got some guidance for the question uh, uh, from this session and uh, you know now you will not look forward for only manual testing jobs and people who are you know uh, who are there in the comfort zone and still working on manual testing jobs you should be uh, you should wake up now guys okay you should wake up and start working on increasing or improving your skills start jump right into the automation testing tools and many other tools and many other areas that you are not aware of so far okay so far so with that note guys i am just ending this session thank you guys bye everyone take care